We're good. Here hey, we go. Guys, it's Friday's E. Hey, look, we're going to start off with a five minute story about me and how, my journey. But before we do that, they say health is wealth. And you got to invest in your health to enjoy the nutrition, the wealth of good nutrition. That's what we're talking about today as we talk about resources, the top resources to build your health wealth with some of our resources that we use. All in this one hour talk show, you get to talk back to us, we talk back to you, and we get to have a fantastic best one hour of your day. I don't know if they noticed, Corey, I have my Food for Life apron on today. So that's one of the resources, resources we definitely will be talking about as well. All well, right. not Food for Life as much as PCRM, because this way, whether or not you book a Food for Life course, you can definitely find answers to your weight loss solutions for your weight loss solutions for those headaches that you're getting when you eat certain foods, solutions for those really joint pains. Chronic pains or chronic illnesses that you might be experiencing. Well, not weight. just chronic, but you know, a lot of people are just dealing with everyday aches. They, you know, I was talking to a friend recently. It's everyday chronic. She said they don't think it's chronic though, because she said her and her husband were in bed discussing like, man, we aren't even that old. Why do we have so many aches and pains? And so, yep, we have answers for you. We've got solutions. So let's get it going. You know what? Gail at Night is in here reminding everybody to please be sure to click the like button. Y'all know we like to bring value. So if you're looking for answers, if you're looking for how to feel good every day, how to Get back what you lost. Take back what the devil stole. What else do people say? Get off those pills. <laughs> get off those prescriptions. Get off those. No, some people like effects. pills. Like you know. Like, well, depending on what kind of what the pill is doing for you. But. Well, you know what? TWP popcorn has in hashtag the home team. So y'all make sure you put that in because this is a one-hour talk show, which means if you're here live. You put in hashtag the home team to get into the first place pony. Of course, our favorite moderator, Philip Waldo Jr., is greeting everyone as they coming in, as they're coming in, saying "Grand day to all." But TWP Popcorn was here in the chat, absolutely first. Which means, if you put in hashtag the home team like TWP Popcorn, you may be able to get first place bragging rights. So that means if you're from Kenya, Grace and Carry Mission, yes. Hey. You can still get, house. yes, you can still get first place pony. And I'm sure the Kenyans already know a lot of these resources and solutions because the Namibians probably know as well. Raquel Nogolo is from Namibia, Corey. Right. Now, JT Coin Rings, he's right here in the good old hey, US of A. <laughs> Thank you. Rings. Thank you for dropping some coins. Wow, we appreciate the super chat. All right, Corey, I say we get started because we got folks in here. They're chatting it up. They are probably ready for the five minute story time. They're already putting in hashtag the home team. So you wanna give it to them? This five minute story is all about how I lost 70 pounds while not even having any interactions with my good friend, Jim. And that's G-Y-M. So you didn't work out. That's, didn't work out. You lost weight lost by losing. Weight by just simply eating my way to uh, to, to a smaller frame, a True. smaller me. True so, story. Back in high school, I played a lot of football. Corey could see back then. I, I, well, I think they kind of got that point because <laughs> you can't really play football. Although there was a guy that's a long snapper for football who snaps the ball to the punter in the field over here. He's playing for, he was playing for USC, he was blind, but that's not me. I could see when I played football. And as a defensive and offensive lineman, you expected to carry a whole lot of bulk. Now, at the time when I was in high, when I was in high school, I weighed 285 to 200, anywhere between 285 and 300 pounds playing high school football, and I was didn't feel feel myself as being fat. I just knew I was a big guy, a large guy, but I didn't think I was overweight or fat, especially when you can bench press 300 pounds easily like I could. When you could squat 700 pounds easily like I could. True. When you could take you know, two or three guys and throw them down with one hand. I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> but nevertheless. <laughs> Either way, 70 I pounds, was, congrats. <laughs> when I was still was agile and, and moving despite any injuries I had, I didn't feel like I was overweight but out of shape. However, fast forward to the years after high school. In 1994, I completely lost my sight one year after graduating from high school due to an illness that all was based on inflammation of the nervous system caused my eyes to stop working, my optic nerves to stop working. And then of course it set in with depression. And with depression, you know, a lot of times we turn to comfort foods. Mm -hmm. And for me, comfort foods was everything but fruits and vegetables. I'm talking about fried pork chops. I'm talking about bacon, eggs. I'm talking about all the cheeseburgers I could eat. I 
pizza. So this is when you dairy, weren't even, working out, right? Because Gail at night is like, okay, so you ate and didn't work out. Got it. I think I can do that to lose the weight. <laughs> this but these aren't the foods you were eating to lose weight. Eating. So even if I got lucky and had a salad, it was still loaded with meat and bacon and turkey and chicken. It had cheese Oh, like a in cob it. salad or something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it, and my favorite topping was ranch dressing, dairy-based ranch dressing. And I was adding all this stuff on. So I wasn't really getting the benefits of the nutrients. Now, as I got older, I began to feel the aches and the pains. I could feel the weight. I wasn't quite as agile as I used to be. And I was beginning to say, hey, you know what? Yes, I am out of shape. So in 2020, we shifted our lifestyle to include a plant-based lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I ate more fruits, more vegetables, fruits and vegetables every spread. And then not only that, I, when I started doing that, I started to shed the pounds, especially when I got off the dairy products, like the cheese, the butter, the yogurt, the, sour the ice cream, cream the ice cream, sour cream. We, got, wait, we still ate those things. We just ate the non-dairy versions. So let's clarify that because people always think you have to give up something, but nope, we didn't give it up. And you started to just eat different foods, similar, but different, like non-dairy cheese, butter, eggs, ice cream, and everything. Right. Uh, and when I say non-dairy eggs, there are different things that people use and to substitute eggs, but either way, that's how you lost your 70 pounds. So in the end, I lost 70 pounds off the bat. And like I said, and I'm still losing weight. I went from 285 pounds down to 229 pounds from 2020 to 2021. And now at my last weigh in, I weighed 216 pounds. My blood pressure, I was able to get off my blood pressure pills within two weeks of starting a plant-based diet, plant-based lifestyle. So I'm saying all to say, I didn't just come up with this stuff on my own. There are resources that we're using. We're gonna introduce them to you today so you can start your own health wealth investment, which is the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, or PCRM, with their exam room live. We're gonna talk about the nutritionfacts.org with Dr. Michael Greger. So wait, these are places that you went to to find the information. Cause you know, a lot of times we always wonder how do we even know where to start? How do we know where to go? And if people aren't coming here to Blind Guy His Wife Live every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, then they're trying to figure out where to go. You know, Coach Mary Ma is like, wow, great job, Corey, as well as Gail at Night. Great job, Corey. But for themselves, anybody can get this, right? Anybody can get this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be that you have chronic diseases. It could be anything. For example, I recently dropped a table on my big toe. And it hurt and it sold up. The toenails started turning colors. But I went to see what foods I could go to the library, the nutritionfacts.org, to see what types of foods I could ingest. And of course, a lot of it was flax seeds, chia seeds. <laughs> there were all sorts of all the healing foods. All the healing foods, the extra fruits, the like the citrus fruits, and ate more of those. And without having to get any antibiotics, without having to go to any doctor. The sullen subsided, the pain subsided, the nail is still kind of ugly. But like I said, my girl's like, ooh, dude, that went from being really nasty looking to, yeah, we can see how it's getting better. So, huh. so it doesn't have to be anything. It could be the common cold, it could be the flu, it could be the C19 streets, it could be you want to get pregnant, it could be a number of things. Wait, that's to tomorrow when we are talking about fertility foods. Some of y'all, now G Mama Grows does have in the hash. Tag the home team. We know that you're like, uh, uh anybody trying to have a baby right now? I got grandbabies, so yes, not you, but maybe for your grandchildren, you want to make sure they have good fertility and all of those good things. Then yes, that's why today we are discussing world class health. And you actually say this for anybody. Like, just imagine when you're at home and you have you're sick and it's nighttime. You're not trying to go to the emergency room. Or if you got a child that's sick or a grandchild that's sick, you're not trying to go to the emergency room. You can always just pull these resources up, find some information about what foods you can immediately start eating to make yourself get get yourself on the path to healing. So that's All what right, we're talking so about today with world class health. You heard it here, Coach Mary Ma, as well as Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. Absolutely. That's one of my favorite Nigerians, Corey. Dr. Brenda over at Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. She's saying good morning, my beautiful people. And of course, uh, Coach Mary Ma is also saying hello to her. Everybody's chatting it up. How do we get started today with this world class health conversation? Let's go, let's go, let's start the show with our real talk with Entirety Design intro. Let's go. This is another episode of a blind guy. It's why. It's why. It's why. It's why.
right, you all, we are ready to go. Hey. We're going to jump right into the resources. I'm Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together we let you into our life live. Every hump day. Bang, bang to Friday. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. At <laughs> 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Helping to change your narrative of normal about nutritional health. Your business resources. And wealth building tools. And we do that by introducing you to fabulous resources <laughs> and great guests. Today, we're going to introduce you to some fabulous resources for world-class health. Mm. From answering your questions to anything from the common cold, hair loss, weight loss, pregnancy, fertility. Wait a minute, health. because earlier we mentioned... We mentioned uh, fertility and like, hey, you know, this way you can have another baby. And we were like, gee, mama grows now. You ain't trying to have more kids. You got grandkids. She's like, that part. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all, thank you for putting in hashtag the home team, Coach Mary Ma, and everyone else. Keep putting that in because, of course, today's topics, you all have already heard it, world-class health. How do you find the information? Where do you go to? So if Corey and Laquita aren't here for you, blind guy's wife, their life, what do you do? How can you easily access these things? Because the queen is not just pulling this information out of her apron. She's actually, we're actually spending <laughs> hours of research getting this information to bring to you. But again, we want you to be able to invest in your own nutritional health. And you know what though? I wouldn't say hours because Trash Can Waves does have hashtag the home team, in there, right? He does a bit of, quite a bit of research himself to bring us all of the information that he brings us on his channel. But, oh, Trash Can, man. Guess what we were on Monday? <laughs> Where were we Monday? We were at the Embassy Suites. <laughs> we were. We actually were. So anyways, we're not going to discuss why. And, and all... that lobby was loaded with people getting those drinks. <laughs> yeah, they were. Anyways, y'all, do what Gail at Night is reminding you to do. Please like, share, subscribe if you're finding value. Of course, there are resources in the video description. Thank you, Gail at Night, one of our favorite moderators, for dropping those resources. And Praying Couple Cooking Series, good to have you here. Mm. Happy Thursday to you as well. DJ Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters does have hashtag the home team. So I say let's get right into it while G Mama Gordon says hello to have to praying couple. Lord knows, Corey. Praying couple cooking series. Y'all pray for trash can and us. What kind of herb can I give my lady to stop pregnancy so I can fix us a salad? <laughs> this is trash can waves. He says salute to the embassy suites. Yes. <laughs> So let's talk about it because, you know, there's not a lot of research. Trash can waves, we know, you know how much research it takes. We're going to go to the first place because Corey has a doctor right there at PCRM. The now, Physicians P Committee for Responsible Medicine stems from the Barnard Medical Center, founded by Dr. Neil Barn Barnard. That's where and I got my classification for my Food for Life. You cannot buy these aprons. You can only get it when you finish the course. So... And PCRM was a, a great introduction into plant-based eating. Wait, let me make sure they can see this. It's a nutritional health because they have a lot of doctors to come and address a wide variety of topics on their podcast, A Zen Room Live. Yep. Yes. So that means that, you know, uh, Danique Anthony is listening in. So make sure you hear us correctly when we say PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. PCRM.org is where you're going to go. Thanks for putting in hashtag the home team. Of course, uh, Fran Couple Cooking Series is also saying hello to Coach Mary Ma. We're going to start with PCRM, but thank you, Gail, for dropping that plantbasedtreats.org. That's one of our own resources. From all of our research, you know, I'm a nurse, just like G Mama Grows, right? She's been a nurse for years and has had a lot of experience. But even as a nurse, you still have to have your research. You still have to have something for the folks. That's what G Mama Grows does on her channel. She shows you the different resources. She shows you harvesting seeds, what things you can plant and all of those things. So that means when you go to PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, this is what you see. Lots of different, okay, well, first of all, you do see that little rabbit, right? So let me bring him back in. You do see that little rabbit. He's cute. This is how you get to your world-class health. Uh, now, GT, I mean, we might have to finish up with the story, Corey. We're we, we going to want to hear about our, our whole, your whole Embassy Suites day. So you know who said that? I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this out, uh, Praying Couple Cooking Series. We might take you up on that challenge and tell our story of the Embassy Suites. We'll see. But yes, Gail at Night is dropping the link, pcrm.org. This is how you get to it. It's a super simple site so that you can click on Good Nutrition 
all of these drop down links, 21 day kickstart, y'all, they have a free app, the vegan starter kit, plant-based nutrition FAQ, food for life classes. That's where I'll be listed recipes, nutrition for athletes, pregnancy, nutrition for kids, universal meals, processed meat. I'm just going to click on mm -hmm. processed meat and see what they're saying here. And the great thing about there, wait, there is no safe amount of processed meat. Uh Oh, from hot dogs, to bacon, it increases the risk of colorectal cancer, cardiovascular disease, and even early death. Let's check out nutrition for kids because Laquita has a popular saying. She said, how much crack would you give your child? How many beers would you give your child? How much How much whiskey would you give your child? How much, uh, any any type of grown-up or illicit drug or drink would you give to a, your six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Your now, praying couple cooking series, you can answer this if you'd like because I know y'all have sons. I don't know how much crack or alcohol y'all have planned on or have given your kids, but you know, for those of us, and look, Little Ruby's daycare is already saying, there is no safe amount, right? Exactly, there's no safe amount. To get, we don't think about that when it comes to something. And I'm just, wait, I just want to say, I'm jogging with praying couple cooking series because we know they are not trying to encourage their sons to, you know, do any amount of unnecessary stuff. G. Albert has a hashtag, the home team, by the way. Go, go, Brittany Grinner. Also praying for the others, being he held hostage, poor people. You know what? I hope they got fruits and vegetables where they are. Good grief. Coach Mary Ma is laughing <laughs> at the safe amount of crack and alcohol. But y'all can let us know in the chat because, you know, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I've given my children some things. I have definitely given my children well, hot dogs and not realizing that there was no safe amount, according to this, you know? Trash Can Wave says, uh, just rub the crackle neck gums for teeth. <laughs> right. Thank you for a couple cooking series. Never will crack, give crack to a kid. We well, wouldn't, wouldn't we? Is, we don't think about that when it comes to... <laughs> comes to food because food just like they say crack kills food kills too oh. just like they say co you know, what was it cocaine is a turn as sweet james said cocaine is a hell of a drug it messed up in the memory the food is messing up the cognitive, cognitive function the brain function of the kids so well, wait pale at night now let's be real because she's telling the truth yep we've experienced this if you grew up in the country like me chances are one of the grown-ups gave you a swig of beer or liquor Corey, you want to tell that, that that story about your glass of wine? Oh man! So David Hunt is just jumping in with both feet. Put in right. hashtag the home team. We haven't gotten there yet. David First of all, our great grandmother would, would give us a uh, little shots of beer because she said it was good to keep the intestinal worms out of it. Hey, you know what? Found out that she's not. She wasn't. Uh, she wasn't incorrect. Mm -hmm. They say that fermented drinks are good for intestinal health. But nevertheless, uh, <laughs> yeah. We went out of town and I was drinking some uh, some wine and chatting with friends that were staying with us at an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And I hear at the time, she was like three or four, three, I think. She was old enough to talk. talk. She was old enough and to talk. And Knight is also saying if the baby is teething, rub a little rum on their gums. Yep. Oh, wait. When you were a child, G. Albert, the old fashioned hot toddy with fermented plant based treats. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? Go ahead, and Corey. so <laughs> I, I was sitting there drinking my wine, and then I heard the community, my little notice one couple said, I love wine. I said, Well, you're not getting none. And so <laughs> she walked away. When I reached down about five minutes later, I said, Dang, I said, I must have drank more than I thought I had drank the first time. So I filled my glass up again. So about a few minutes go by, I'm still chatting with other people, and then I hear her say, I love wine. I said, you're not getting it. Go away. And she so, mama grows already got her hand in her face. You know what happened. I, I sat there and I said, man, I said, I'm really inhaling this wine. Because children will say what they're doing. They don't just do it. They actually talk about it. So then on the third go around, she goes, ah, I love wine. I said, give me that. And I said, drink my wine this whole time. She said, uh-huh. And I said, she said, did I do something bad? I said, you know you're not supposed to be drinking this stuff. I said, I said, you feel okay? She said, yeah. I said, oh, well, in my mind, I'm like, good. I know she will go to sleep tonight. Did she sleep? Yes, she did. She, she was sleep. always a sleepy one anyways, But that, rock, that, that dropped her. And she was like, okay. I said, well, I guess that was worth the piece. Better than giving her some melatonin or some kind of sleep aid. <laughs> so, right. So, yeah. But nevertheless, I would never just say a three-year-old with a whole glass of wine like that. Absolutely. You know what? Praying couple cooking series, because we're going to skip trash can waves. My at least father's not buying their sons. They first prostitute no more. Yeah, that was a thing. I is think it still is a thing. Trash can <laughs> is, is that a personal story, trash can waves? No, you know, that's popular. Remember the dude at the Center for the Blind? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Indian. Okay, it, was anyway. his brother, it was his brother that was doing that. So, praying couple cooking series says they have ate a few unhealthy meals. 
cut that out, started preparing more vegetables. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just more fruits and vegetables. What y'all know about uh, that home brew corn liquor? You know, Gail at night, Corey is from North Carolina. Hey, where are you from, Gail? <laughs> so uh, she from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. So, you know, yeah, she down in the deep south. Uh, if your tooth hurts, a little crack on the crack <laughs> will always work. Shut up, trash can waves. <laughs> Y'all, now you got past your, your broken two thousand week trash can. You know what? I'm going to go to Nutrition for Kids because remember, this is a resource. PCRM.org, Nutrition for Kids. Uh, G. Albert says no more trash can waves, not anymore. But trash can says put wine in the milk. Oh, that would make it curdle. I think this is the website you go to. Okay, so for children, because Little Ruby's daycare is saying so right about the kids. They have a whole nutrition for kids. Y'all, with the Food for Life course, they provide us with curriculum for teaching meals for two children. So we can teach it to the adults or the kids. So of course, if anybody wants to book me, I have to add my booking link here. But of course, everybody's in there laughing and rolling around, having a great time. I'm gonna scroll down here and show you all a few things that Nutrition for Kids, all the resources. Philip says, I can't believe this. Corey and Quita are turning my sweet little nieces into luscious. <laughs> Look, they, nah, they man, did it themselves. Me. And Gail Knight said she grew up in Alabama, not yeah. in Georgia. Oh, definitely. <laughs> she definitely grew up some rum, some corn liquor, something like yeah, So yeah. I know. <laughs> See, yeah. well, I know you know. But yes. Just to answer your question, Phil, Camille is the reason why I had to learn to remember to screw the bottle caps back on the beer bottles before I put them in recycling because she would go in there and just try to drain what she could out of it and that's when she was like two years old and see they have things here for infants uh vegetables including potatoes green beans carrots are all good choices they should be thoroughly cooked and mashed for infants fruits such as mashed bananas avocados peaches or applesauce and by eight months some babies can eat crackers bread and dry cereal and protein rich foods like well cooked and mashed tofu or beans they give you information for children and teens nutrition activities for kids and boom look they have different things you can download a coloring book a nutrition for kids booklet as well as the power plate pledge uh eat the rainbow so they have a video not here skittles. no not skittles so this is from uh health nutritionists or whatever this is a, a nutrition lesson for children showing you how all the foods that make up the nutrition rainbow can improve our health so this is so cool. There's a lot of different resources here. These are some of the things that we've included for you because we know that there, there's more places for you to learn more. This whole brochure on healthy snacks for kids, more videos for you. High dairy and consumption increases overall mortality. Did you know that? That's a, that's a headline right there that they have. Fruits and vegetables improve ADH symptoms in children, which means it reduces the symptoms y'all and that increases them. So they have so many resources here, five essential tips for parents in need of baby formula. Y'all know there was a baby shortage, formula shortage recently. You know, we were talking about the um, trash can wave suits. He said, actually that clove oil saved his life along with Sensodyne toothpaste, but yes. Mm -hmm. And G Mama Grows, y'all know she has all the resources. She says clove oil, yep, it's the truth. TWP Popcorn is definitely saying hello to her. And if you all want to uh, find any of these resources, you can also go to our link tree. You can go to blindguyhiswife.com or you can go to blindguystories.com forward slash link tree or just search us on link tree. Either way, Gail has the link there for you. And Trash Can Waves is saying, Gail at night, what you know about Buffalo Rock Ginger Ale? You know anything about that, Corey? You I country. No idea with that one. He got me with that one. <laughs> I know about rock gut whiskey, but I don't know about Buffalo Rock. I don't know about that one. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Trash can is like, yeah, that clove oil is good. Facts, Grant G Mama on the clove oil, but he almost choked himself with the clove oil. We just use cloves, you know? And he said, I was like, my tooth don't hurt, but now I can't breathe. Now, I don't know. I guess that's because you were using the oil. We just use whole cloves. That's another way to do it. G Albert, we recommended that to him. That works as well. Uh, now, G G Gail at night is saying that she didn't know the Buffalo Rock ginger beer growing up. She didn't know about that, but uh, she did have it as an adult, non-alcoholic. It has a bite to it. Oh, mm. yeah, a ginger beer. I thought you said ginger drink. Okay, ginger beer. All right, got you. Yeah, oh, I've maybe I read ginger, it wrong. I've had, yeah, that, that's cool. That stuff, the, the, the ginger beer you get from the African restaurants and markets or the Jamaican restaurants and markets. It's good stuff. Woo, that will cause you to get like 50 chest hairs. You know, trash can't wear it. says, yeah, it's spicy. And um, of course, G Mama Grove, 
Bros is saying that the clove oil is super potent. So we definitely have to watch out for that. So we're going to look at one more of the resources before we go into, into our first place pony. G. Albert is saying that those cloves really work. Y'all are wondering, where, how do we find this stuff out? Where do we get the information from? Well, of course, I have on my Food for Life paper today. I got that certification from, they only do that certification once a year. And I did get that certification from Food for Life, excuse me, PCRM.org. Um, I'll show you right there on the site where you can find it because PCRM does stand for Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Corey has a doctor there, so we've switched our doctors over to there. Let's see and here. They they do telehealth appointments, so no matter where you are. They, well, they tell you about migraines, ovarian cancer, prostate, diabetes, coronavirus, healthy bones, heart disease, cancer. So you're saying wherever you are in the country, because I know they they, they do service, service different things. They do service different parts of the country, so you just have to go and check to see if they service your state or region. But like I said, it's great. And the Dr. James Loomis is my doctor. He was featured in the documentary movie, Game Changers. Well, wait a minute. Arnold Schwarzenegger. We can also be included. If you click on recruitment under our research search, our re under recruitment under our research, you can be a part of their studies. You're just a patient. I'm just a patient. Why? You have not been a part of any of their endometrial studies. Of course not. Endometriosis, hot flash study, type one diabetes research study, um, or recruitment. But you chose to just use them as a doctor. They also have all kinds of news. This is where you find the podcast, their the 30-minute show. Their goal is to get you off of the pills and into the plants because they don't they, they they will prescribe medicine for you, but their goal is to get you off of it. Whereas my normal physicians, my regular physicians that I was seeing before was like, I'll just take these and these this metformin and take this, you know, lisinopril. And you know, as long as you take that, you'll be good. But if you stop taking it, you're gonna probably die. But these doctors are like, okay, we'll give you that, but you know, the goal is to get you off of it. So they give you goals like Do they give you Mad Dog 2020 Thunderbird or anything like that? Because Philip is saying that you were the um spokes kid for Mad Dog 2020 and became the spokesperson for Code 45 before Billy D took his took your spot. Man, I got a Mad Dog 2020 <laughs> story for you for you, boy. I remember I was in high school. We had just won a big football game. They had a high school dance afterwards. And some of our friends bought in some great mad dog. And I mixed it with Coca-Cola. Why? I don't know. I can't dance to save my life. But they told me on Saturday morning, they said, man, Corey, you was getting it. I said, I was? They said, man, you were throwing down. I said, I did? And all I remember was looking at the strobe like, that's the worst thing to do when you inebriate. I was like, wow, look at the lights. And then when I came to, I was outside on the cold concrete. They were trying to get me something. Hey, you better hurry up for your mom and dad could pick you up. Well, Gail and I was drinking those little short bottles a lot. Uh, she think the, the Jamaican ginger beer, she drinks those now. Mm. So, so, but you said Mad Dog, you yeah. won't do one. Great Mad Dog, mix of Coca-Cola. Corey didn't know about PCRM.org back then. You know, when not. we went down to the footer, that is how I found his physician. I went right down to the footer. I clicked on Barnard Medical Center because this is an actual doctor's office in on uh, Washington, D.C. And again, like I said, their goal is to get you off the pills, off the meds, and into just a healthier lifestyle. And they do a lot of telehealth because yeah. that's how you got started with them. Right. And um, let's see, they- Dr. They, Loomis gave me some uh, target numbers for my blood pressure. He said, look, if you can consistently- Oh, we can make get, an appointment. Uh, hmm. Stay stay around 130 over uh, 70. He said, I'll take you off the pills. And within two weeks, I had reached that target. And he says, so he was like, well, how are the pills? How, how's it going with the pills? I said, There's your doctor, James Loomis. I said, you want I'm the, Game Changers, the movie. I said, you want the truth or the lie? He said, tell me the truth. I said, well, the truth is, I stopped taking those pills about three or four days ago, or three or <laughs> four days after you gave them to me. And I said, I just went hard, you know, on different things as far as the fruits and vegetables. He said, all right. Then he said, oh, wait, I can click here and say new patients. Let's see if I can become a new patient. He said, all right. He said, well, then, oh. he said I'm going to sign you off and take you off the pills. And that was that, was that story. He, he, didn't, he didn't flinch. He didn't say, no, you're supposed to be on that medication. You need to take that last syndrome because if you don't right. I'm going to go on the next great golfing trip that the medical med pharmaceutical companies are going to pay for me to go to down in uh, Veracruz, Mexico. Boom, that part, right? So y'all, this is all you have to do for one particular resource. You know, Coach Mary and G Mama Grows is laughing at you falling out on the mad dog and Man, while it's just keeping in. Slow, just laid out. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you know, G Mom, I mean, G Albert says, uh, my mama told me you better shop around. <laughs> definitely, y'all, if you're looking for a new physician, definitely this is one place to start where they do believe in traditional medicine. So they were the ones that prescribed you the medications mm -hmm. for your blood pressure. And they're the ones that said, okay, you can come off of it. Whereas a lot of doctors don't say that. And even some of the natural, like the master herbalist, Yaki Wiki, he's like, no, nah. he said, you know, plants ain't gonna cure everything. He said, yeah, if you fell down and broke your arm, he said, don't go sit there and say, okay, I'm gonna go eat some fruits and vegetables. And he said, nice you go to the doctor, get a set, get a cast on. He said, but then eat the fruits and vegetables to promote the healing. Absolutely. Uh, Philip is saying, Mad Dog, Thunderbird, some kind of malt liquor and Bacardi rum used to be my cocktail through a, a school in the Navy, a school in the Navy. That's not like jungle juice right there. Corey, I say we go into the first place pony and see, because uh, Wally has not put it in yet, but let's see who's going to win for today. Uh, Gail at Night is saying, you know you have a good doctor when they're trying to get you off the medications and don't try to force it on you when your stats show that you don't need it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the next resources that we're going to show you all is from Dr. Um, Dr. Esselton. Esselton. Um, now, Dr. Caldwell Esselton, his son is Rip Esselstyn. So we're going to show you Rip Esselstyn's website and everything because he has a lot of resources for foods and things like that. And Dr. Esselstyn, Caldwell Esselstyn, he actually was a the physician, of, a personal physician for Samuel Samuel Jackson, who was uh, who adopted a plant-based lifestyle and stayed fit to get some, through some of his most, ex, what was it? Um, Exa he, not exacerbated, but he a strenuous to, role, strenuous role. No, no, no. He had something in his leg. He had something in his leg that he was a blood clot or something. And they told him it was a fifth. There was a 50 50 chance that he would uh, like the surgery would work or whatever. And so as a result, uh, Samuel L. Jackson has talked about Dr. Esselstyn, uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. And, you know, G-Mama does say that there is a plant that can heal bones once they are set. I've heard of that. You know what? I've heard of that. People in Ghana and people in, um, not Tanzania, it's in West Africa. Where was um, Search for Uhuru always going to? Nigeria. Mm -mm, because uh, he was Nigeria, going to get Sierra his uh, Sierra Leone. Yes, to get his dual citizenship. So, yes, I've heard of that. So, Wally is in there chatting it up there. Wally, put in hashtag the home team. You know we're waiting for you. I'm going to show you like, all this the, part. Go ahead, Corey. Uh, the queen was saying that Samuel, Samuel Jackson had that, that blood clot in his leg. And so, instead of going for the the, half, the gamble on the surgery, he actually went to uh, Dr. Esselstyn to talk and to get advice from him. And again, he was able to save his leg. He was able to improve his health. And like I said, be able to get some of those more strenuous roles, even though he was getting later in his life. Now, Samuel L. Jackson is featured in this film, Eating You Alive. It's a plant-based doc documentary starring Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, he strikes a distribution deal. So y'all, that is Dr. Neil Barnard from PCRM, one of the resources we were just showing you. So just showing you how all of these things tie together. A lot of the celebrities, you will notice that when they need a result, they go to it. The Wu-Tang Clan, RZA and all of them, they are plant-based, right? They are like, we can't- Hold can. up, Let, let's be real. The queen is trying to act like she knows what she's talking about when it comes to hip hop. She used to call them the RZA and the GZA. Just a RZA. I, I know now. <laughs> Thank you, Trash Can Waves. We're going to do hashtag the home team because Trash Can Waves is tired of these dog damn snakes on this dog damn plane. Let's open some windows. If you flying, I don't think you should open windows. That is. talking about the movie Snakes on the Plane, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what? Look, you already know Corey's going to give y'all what's what, what's what, all the relative things. So, yes, for Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> he is not just giving y'all the, the the lines that we remember. He is also in all the spaces along with a lot of the other celebrities. So what we're showing you today, some of the resources, how do you find this stuff? Look, G Mama Grows is not always going to be here for us, but if you go to her channel, you can find out that Comfrey is going to help you uh, with it. She says Comfrey, AKA Knit Bone. Okay, all right. Mm. She's not always going to be with us. What I'm trying to say is, if you're not watching her channel or if you're trying to remember like, okay, where do I get this information? Y'all, G Mama Grows is a resource, right? So if G Mama Grows isn't right here, right now, and then later you're trying to figure out, okay, all we're gotcha. saying is, these are the resources, right? Let's go to the first place pony because Trash Can says, y'all go to Rumble and watch Died Suddenly, the documentary. They pull in three foot strands of fiber, white threads out of people's veins. 
Mm. Mm. So wait, the three foot strands of fiber, what is it actually? Tell us what that is. Because, you know, they're pulling... Folks. Yeah, and they that's, that's what I was going to say. It depends. Now, Wally is like, hmm, how can I? I won the big prize yesterday. <laughs> you were a winner yesterday. So I say we get back into it today. Coach Mary Ma is laughing at him. But G. Albert says, G. Mama grows. I agree. Uh, I I also heard that fermented corn and grapes are great for healing them broken bones. Hmm. Yeah, I was just trying to get some whiskey and wine. That's all it is. Yes. <laughs> I meant corn and grapes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So, of course, thank you uh, so much, Gail at Night, for adding that l- link there to Rip Esselstyn's uh, Plant Strong site. Now, y'all know we told you Caldwell Esselstyn is the one that healed Samuel L. Jackson, right? Samuel L., I could not find the interview. I saw this interview years ago where he was talking about Dr. Esselstyn healing him, Caldwell Esselstyn. Caldwell Esselstyn... Uh, He's very strict. He's like, no oil, because the oil is killing us. You can eat oil in its natural state if it's in the nuts, if it's in the avocado. But he says, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, if you have a condition, if you already jacked up, he don't say it like that. That's me paraphrasing. He's like, just don't do it. Because it's sort of like if you already know you have a headache, you're not going to eat bacon, right? If you already know you itching and scratching, you ain't going to go out there and get a dirty chick. All I'm trying to say is, (laughs) why are you laughing, Corey? (laughs) Because, okay, I'm a dude, but y'all women got a hard road to hoe. No, that's a bad choice. Of that's what I'm uh, You got a hard... She mama grows. It's a, it's a hard uh, I'm growing and learning. Because even from the women, it's like, why is it that the women always... If the men got something, it's because they were messing with the dirty chick. Okay, I got that. But it's never the dirty the chick. They've been got calling them... The dirty, I can't say the word. See, that's why I tried to just cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trash Can Wave says they've been calling those clots, quote unquote. But it's all behind the heart attacks people been having. Mm, thank See, you. Trash can waves coming in. With I told y'all, trash can does a lot he's, of research. He's medical CSI. Yes, medical CSI. Whether he is him, whether he is they, whether he is them, trash can waves is doing it. Uh, the Bible said to take a little wine for the stomach's sake. I'm just saying, David Hunt says, look. Yeah, it does. It now, does if you're, that. If you're okay. It also doesn't say don't drink. It says just don't be giving the drunkenness. Boom. Those parts. So here's the thing, y'all. We're giving y'all the resources. We're showing you where to go. PCRM is one place. And then another place that Gail dropped earlier uh, was Let me clarify Rip that. Esselstyn's plan. Somebody jumps on me. It's the threat that connects it all, if you will. Hmm. Thank you, Trash Can. He says, oh, <laughs> dang. Come on, Trash Can. The thread that connects it all, all. <laughs> Yeah, he said, we already sick. May as well be sick together. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Bravo with Sheila, ladies. Let's chat. We're about to do the first place poll. Before somebody, jump, hashtag before somebody jumps on me, they're speaking specifically in the battle about wine. Not Mad Dog, Thunderbird, not, well, Thunderbird. Not Mad Dog. Thunderbird's Coke. wine. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Cheap it's just wine. a cheap wine. Okay. Yeah. Not Mad Dog, not Coke 45, not uh, Wiley Wiley, not any of those other things, not liquor, they were talking about wine. So I gotta clarify that some of the jumps on me. Go ahead. Now Gail at Night does ask, was that video with Samuel L. Jackson on the Eating You Alive documentary? No, it was not. On the Eating You Alive documentary, he talks about a few other things. He definitely talks about um you know what's killing us and all of this other all of these other things. I'll try to find that uh, video clip to show you right now. But uh, because we definitely want to show you the a clip from the film where, you know, where Samuel L. Jackson is talking about it. However, uh, that was like a separate interview that was done by his niece or family member or what have you. So thank you, Gail at Night, for asking as well as for asking everyone, everyone to please click the like button. The good books also says a joyful heart is good medicine. Absolutely, heart. David Hunt. Heart. Heart. OK. Because, you know, it's not just the food, right? It's also your mental state, your happiness, your sleep. It's so many different things. However, since we do eat a lot, quite a few times a day, this is where fruits and vegetables, every spread can help you out. Whether or not you're eating cheese, butter, yogurt that are dairy-based, whether or not you're eating meat, if you increase your fruits and vegetables every meal, then boom, you're still getting ahead of the game. That's what Dr. Neil Bernard talks about, uh, as well as Dr. Michael Greger, as well as Rip Esselstyn. He talks a lot about uh, you know, where to get the best things from. So uh, Gail at night says, yes, I'm looking it up so I can share it, but I can't find it. Yes, it's so tough because there's been so much information given since then. That's the difficult part. So let's do first place pony and we'll see what we can do with it, Corey, on our next, um, on our next uh, 
topic as All far right. as ripped essels 10 and nutritionfacts.org. We're going to search a few things. So you all be sure to put into the chat any ailments. Don't put in no itching and scratching. We already talked about that, but we don't want to put nobody business in the street. Just put in something like, you know, shoulder pain or eggs or bacon or whatever you might think of that you're eating and you're wondering how good or bad is this exactly? Put those into the chat. We're going to look them up live with you on nutritionfacts.org. Ready? Yeah, I got the home team pulled up. Now you started this off with you talking about how you lost 70 pounds just by changing your eating, not by a whole lot of working out because it's on the intake side is what nutritionfacts.org tells us. Well, Dr. Michael Greger says that a lot. It's on the intake side. All right, you ready? Yeah, it's up. I'm going to make the horse racing announcement and Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something different this time. You don't have to say anything. But when I say my answer my own question, then you're gonna click the button, okay? All right. Thanks, Gil, for dropping it. PCRM.org. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the blind guy has wife their life live. First place pony derby. All the jockeys are mounted and ready to ride. And wait, use this one, Corey. Thick cut bacon isn't used for healing purposes. That's what Philip is saying. <laughs> Oh, and a trash can says this just in miracle cure for wrinkles. Ladies, let's just let's discuss protein and how your husband is more for benefit. You know what? More of a benefit to you than you think. <laughs> Don't laugh at that, Philip. Go ahead, Corey. <laughs> They're not giving us that much all protein. The, all the jockeys <laughs> are mounted and ready to ride in are in position and ready to ride. What do we have? What do you think Samuel Jackson would say if you were trying to use thick? thick cut bacon for a remedy for broken bones and any other element. He would say, and yes, you deserve to die and I hope <laughs> you burn in hell. And they're off. David Hunt, Denique Anthony, Trash Can't Wait, Philip Walter Jr., G Mama Bros, David Hunt, Prank Couple, Prank Couple Cooking Series, <laughs> Wally, <laughs> Coach Car- Mary Ma, Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters, Denique Anthony, Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. <laughs> she came riding up on a rocking horse and won. Absolutely. Congratulations to you, Little Ruby's Daycare encounter dr brenda we appreciate you wonderful job here thanks for all the resources that you give of course g mama grows is laughing it up gill at night says <laughs> uh mother fly that's what she's saying oh, uh yeah sam that's his that's his one of his favorite cuss words in the movie samuel jackson <laughs> they got clips on him how many times he said it anyways g mama grows is in there laughing right along with wally laughing at trash can waves but y'all all of this is getting right down to the face and just to answer the question it is a protein but it's not protein <laughs> okay now everything that we've been saying y'all know we are also a resource for change your that, hair is a protein but it's not protein <laughs> that means when you go to blindguyhiswife.com uh if you want to join the shade. go ahead if you want to join the home team do that click the green coffee cup right but you can hey, also yeah. go so right to Faves. Say, no, 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 wait. I'm just taking them to the Faves worksheet because that's what Gail at Night has there. Y'all, the Faves worksheet is finally here on the Faves page, right? What are Faves? Fruits, Fruits and, and vegetables, vegetables, every, every spread. spread. You can get some of the things from Amazon. You can click the button. It'll take you right to our Amazon shops where we have some toolkits set up. You can also download your free worksheet, right? Your free Faves worksheet. And you're going to need that because we're going to be calling on you to register for the Faves Challenge 2023. I knew you for the new year is what we're going to be doing. It's going to kick off February. Mm, February. It's gonna There's kick a off form December here. 23rd. They can help our research. Yeah, December 23rd. What was December my birth- 23rd? It's my birthday. Hey. And it's going to end January the 18th, which is the Queen's birthday. Mm. So get ready. The registration information will be coming soon. Absolutely. Everybody's laughing at trash can waves and that protein. We're just going to pass him by as well as Philip Waldo Jr. We're going to go to the people congratulating our winner of first place pony. So G Mama Grows, Coach Mary Ma. Uh, they're all congratulating Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. And David Hunt says, y'all already know how I'm feeling. Philip Waldo Jr. is laughing at Gail at night. <laughs> Talk about Samuel L. Jackson. And while, yep, now word from David Hunt. Frig! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Philip says, I understand. David Hunt, friggedness. Look, Dave, Coach Mary Wa is just laughing at you. But y'all subscribe to Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. Gail at night has dropped the link to make it easy for you all. I know, David. Wally took your your chance to win out on a session with diana gladney that lady is amazing so she was wonderful yesterday Phyllis like my protein protein mm-hmm. <laughs> gold cannonballs vegan is uh what trash can waves has hashtag gold cannonball you know what mm-hmm. <laughs> david hunt is saying and now 
the first place pony phony. Look, we can't <laughs> help that you didn't win today. Philip's laughing at you. G Mama Grows is over there cheering. But Gail at night is reminding y'all that faves is fruits and vegetables every spread. Nikki, the everyday life of an OCD is chicken. She is just in the house. Yes, just in time for the coffee break. All right. This we're gonna we're gonna Wait, take Wait, December eighteenth and January twenty third. Why pump? you know what, Philip? December twenty third and <laughs> February and January eighteenth. He knows. He definitely knows. So all right, so here we go. It's time for a coffee break break here on Blind Guy. Girl, you ain't winning nothing, Nikki. His wife. Their life live. <laughs> and we are here to if you want to be down with the blind guy's wife, their life home team, don't forget to go to blindguyhiswife.com. And when you get there, make sure that you click the green coffee cup. So she can say, what you doing? And I can say, girl, you know what I'm doing. I'm about to do it like a pro chick and I'm going to start like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. When you head over to blindguyhiswife.com, it's scrolling at the bottom of the screen, right along with our sponsors. We're about to thank them momentarily. Y'all know we're only about 15 minutes from the top of the hour. So let's make sure you know what to do. Click the green coffee cup, right? But... You can get one coffee, three coffee, five coffees for blind guy, his wife. Corey's been blind 25 years. What about if they want their own coffee? If you want your own coffee. And they can like shop right here. It's our roll Java blend blend of premium specialty blends, ground roasted and ground on the day that you order. Mm, mm, mm. Inside we have, this is a sampler pack. It has a cowboy blend, a six bean blend, and it has a Mexican blend inside. There are all sorts of different samplers. Two ounce so samplers. wait a minute. This Secret. particular one, you're saying this has all the little sample packs so that they can get the Peruvian Bali Blue Moon. This one has all of the little sample packs. So if you want to get a gift for people at your job, for friends, you can, or just the office or wherever you are. You can definitely order this particular one. And of course, as you see, this is the bestseller sample pack. Now, this is not listed on the website. Would what you, you have to do is you have to go to the full Roll Java website to find this. Y'all know it's holiday time. If you're looking for secret Santa Ooh, gifts. Yeah. And that link right there on Blind Guy's Wife takes you here. And if you're not a coffee drinker, you can get this. And it also makes a good air freshener. Coffee makes a good air freshener. It captures a lot of scents. It covers up a lot of odors. So, you, you know, that's what happened. We were on our way to Chicago one time for a trip. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> not I was not there, but I'm, I've heard the story too many times. I don't hear. It. Yeah, on the airplane. Now, Philip Waldo says his clock says it's the top of the hour now. Uh oh, and Nikki has seen this rig. Y'all just support the stream. Click a clink a clink a clink a clink like David Hunt is telling you. What you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> says G Mama Gross. Clink it, clink it, clink it. All you have to do is go get your own coffee and all of that good kind of stuff. So we also have the 12 ounce bags as well, the African espresso. So if you really need a jolt, you get your black. This is I'm gonna call this our Black Panther blend. This is a medium dark roast. It is an African espresso, and it's also um, ground. Okay, so I think you can see that the ground is checked. So this we can't open this, y'all, because otherwise it would spill out. Some of you are going to get a few gifts in the mail, though. So that way you can help us with reviewing the coffee and all of those things. It does have a nice light flavor, but it has a good strong punch because it was roasted on the day we ordered it, which means we have to ship this out super fast. Whoever wins today's uh, final giveaway will definitely be getting some in the mail. Giawa is saying happy birthday to all the December babies. That includes you, December 23rd yeah, to December January 23rd. 18th, which is my birthday, is when we're doing this faves challenge. So we will be having people to sign up for that. He says his brother uh, brother and sister out loud, uh, outlawed. <laughs> Alonzo and Alma on December 9th. Gwen on his wife, December 12th. Excuse me, December 11th. Grandkids, December 15th and the 31st. And then he threw you in there. Corey, December 23rd. Giawa said his outlaws. <laughs> that must be a rough crowd, boy. Look, let me tell you. It must be all those. Oh, okay, but yeah. So. Philip says he knows whose house he's about to crash. Absolutely, Philip. You're going to get one. We're not going to mail yours. You live close enough. We'll have to give it to us, to you. Trash can is saying, tell us the story. And Gail loves the smell of coffee right with us. Yeah, I was in Chicago on a plane. The lady with us hurled blue chunks and all of that stuff. And it was so hilarious to me because I saw her as the plane kept dropping and she kept looking like, woo, woo. And one of those times she just leaned forward and everything came out and the people on the plane 
they swept that stuff up and they poured down coffee grounds as an air freshener and it just changed the whole vibe it just really blessed our souls Samuel Jackson, he leaned over from the next. He said, "This turbulence is a motor floater, ain't it?" <laughs> <laughs> hey there, the amazing M and G. Uh, so that's what happened in Chicago, in Chi Town. Let's head on to thanking our people from our sponsors. Yes, this the people that have chosen us. This broadcast. Yes, yeah, she here. heard a blue waffle. Google it. <laughs> you know what? No, we're not googling that. Y'all, blue uh, plant-based treats. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I was gonna try to say something about blindguystories.com forward slash Amazon. I was trying to get change the change the topic because uh, G Albert says, uh, "Hey Corey, tell us a short trip about Laquita Shot Town trip." That was long before Corey and I were dating. I was still a teenager in high school. Went there for a church trip with my parents, and so yeah, Corey went around then. Y'all go get go find your resources at pcrm.com. People were throwing up. Uh, due to the blue waffle disease. Lord, I, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to our sponsors. Don't laugh at him, Philip. This broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsors. Thank you to the following unmuted sponsors. We appreciate you. And of course, we got to show you some love. Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, Black Heights, advancing your career. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme Sponsor, Tryon Palace. Wishlist Sponsor, Tasha Oshi Groves. Check out her YouTube channel. Wishlist Sponsor, Sharon Marie Watson. Check out her YouTube channel. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All righty. All right. Thank you to all of our sponsors for powering this broadcast right along with StreamYard. And what we're going to do now is we're going to jump down to nutritionfacts.org to show you how this is like the card catalog of nutritional health. If you got a hangnail, a hangover, or you just want to be, you have a heart attack, stroke, they got the, they have the answers for nutrition for all these different things. So we're going to pull up some of the some of the website with Dr. Michael Gregor's website, nutritionfacts.org, and then we'll go. Corey, what time coach. is your ride supposed to be here? Because your ride has just pulled up. Y'all okay. know this is a live show, and Corey is supposed to be places. So Corey, I say while I pull up nutritionfacts.org, yeah, make a phone call. Yeah, you exit and go make a phone call. You might have wanna... to Megatroid exit stage left. <laughs> you might just want to go out and talk to the driver rather than calling and take your phone with you. All right, so y'all know Corey's phone talks. Corey cannot see and all that kind of stuff. So the amazing MNG is coming in from Jamaica saying happiness and love always to you, Coach. Definitely talking to Coach Mary Ma. So happy to see you here. All right, y'all, nutritionfacts.org. Let's head on over there. You all put in an ailment. I'll show you how we search the website, the way that we use it. So that way you all can see how this works. Lord, y'all can start talking about Corey. Um, no problem, Bravo with Sheila's uh, Ladies Let's Chat. We do appreciate you listening in the background. That's what I do a lot of times on channels. I listen and lurk because I can't, you know, I can't chat. Uh, I know, Philip, right? Do you need to crash the show? Because Phil Corey is gone. The co-host is gone. Lord, Nana, right? Pulling off, Corey. Y'all know there's a huge window in front of us. So, um... No, no, no. No, I'm just telling you, Corey, that the riders... I'm telling everybody, the riders pulling off. Right. Uh, Snagglepuss, heavens to Megatroid. Exit stage left, David Hunt is saying. <laughs> now, David Hunt is saying Moringa, but listen, we're taking you right to where Gail at Night is showing you, nutritionfacts.org. I'm going to type something in right there on nutritionfacts.org. This way, you all can see how this website works, right? So I think um, I had put in eggs earlier. Because a lot of people say, oh I, oh, I think I will miss eggs. Like, what do I do? What meat and eggs do to our microbiome? They do have a lot of uh, pop-ups here, but they are usually related to this particular site, right? Because they do have a video library. They do have books. They do have resources. You can subscribe. You can donate. You can learn about them. They even have an app where you can actually track your, they're trying to remind you to eat your fruits and vegetables every spread. Everybody's trying to get you to do this, right? So there's Dr. Michael Greger right there. 
And um, he's talking about like what's happening in this article. So if you're lazy and you don't want to read, that's where, and you, because some of us aren't lazy. Some of us want to read, but we can't. So I'm gonna put in eggs and I'm gonna see if I can find a video. That way I don't have to read an article. Boom, look, here's a video. So for just about for everything, eggs and breast cancer, there's a video. How our gut bacteria can use eggs to accelerate cancer. There's a video. Estrogen and meat, dairy and eggs. Uh, xen xenoestrogens and dietary exposure to natural sex steroids in meat, dairy and eggs therefore is therefore highly relevant in the discussion of the impact of estrogens, blah, blah, blah. There's a video on it. Eggs and arterial function, how your arteries are function. Bacon, eggs and gestational diabetes during pregnancy. There's a video pretty much for everything and for each item, typically the video is just like two minutes long, right? One to three minutes. So this one is two minutes and 19 seconds long. So definitely there's almost a video for everything. Let's take this down and see what you all are chatting about. Philip says, everything trash can, he can see, Corey can't see, y'all stop. Don't worry about what he's looking for, trash can ways. We're at the top of the hour. You all put in hashtag plant-based treats. Because of course, that's the goal of today. Um, we want you to get in your plant-based treats. No, 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 you know what? Put a hashtag faves, that's easier. F-A-V-E-S, hashtag faves, all right? So of course, you can go to pcrm.org. You can go to nutrition nutritionfacts.org. And so I'll put in leg spasms for you, G Mama Grows. I'm gonna search it so that DJ is, y'all know that's Ism's channel, his music channel. We're gonna see what happens here. So let me put it in. I'm going to put in leg spasms and we're going to see exactly what comes up, right? Because the nice thing is you don't just have to search food. You can search ailments, right? Why is this in all caps? Leg spasms. I think this is what the channel does. Okay. Leg spasms. Boom, boom, boom. Lord, they didn't help me out none. Let's see. Did I search it or did I not? Leg spasms. And then I'll click search. I'll see if anything. Oh, they found zero results. Um, let's see if I just put in spasms. Will anything pop up? Treating infant colic by changing mom's diet. Fennel seeds for menstrual cramps and PMS. What to take before a colonoscopy. How to stop hiccups. So that's what they have for spasms. Let me put in leg cramps. Maybe that will work better. Weight bias, hating their guts. There, uh, there was that famous study published back in 1961. Children in summer camps in schools across a swath of different social, cultural, and ethnic backgrounds. Blah 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 blah. Okay, ground din ground ginger to reduce muscle pain. Uh, is weight loss on keto sustainable? And there's definitely uh, results for that. So I guess you got to do a couple of different things. Y'all do not put in hashtag Corey can see, put in hashtag faves, make sure you get it in there. DJ Ism is saying hello to everybody. And of course, type in your problem at nutritionfacts.org. This is a peer reviewed, medical re medically reviewed uh, site where all of the doctors have their information. Y'all know we create games based off of this information so that it's way more easily digestible for you. So let's see. Oh, you need F-A-V-E-S. I'm sorry, F-A-V-E-S. So how about grits, bacon, and extra sharp cheese? Dr. Greg and recommendations. Yes, that's good for you. I don't think he said that's good for you, but I'm going to type it in. So that way we will see um, just what they're saying. So meanwhile, y'all type in hashtag faves, F-A-V-E-S, because we're just showing you all how to get your world-class health today, where to get these resources from. You all know that you can always get these resources at uh, plantbasedtreats.org, blindguyhiswife.life, uh, blindguyhiswife.com. What in the world? Let me tell y'all something. Uh, I'm going to put in Adrian Nash. Hey there. I'm going to put it in um, eggs and grits and cheese. Trash can says, didn't hear what all Laquita told Corey. All I know is she said, grab the red one. <laughs> you hear that, Corey? <laughs> look, look. And now Adrian is here. So I'm like, hey, baby, you know who she's talking to. <laughs> and Philip said, uh, trash can, not the red rhinestone lace thong. Uh, lace thong. <laughs> uh, thank you, Philip. He does have hashtag faves in there. 
Coach Mary Ma has hashtag faves. Y'all know whoever wins today, you are going to get shipped to you some of this roll job of coffee because we need your input, all right? These guys, we're about to launch a coffee club we actually have coffee talks around, around more topics and deeper talks around more topics. It's really like a mastermind where you get to come in and extend your conversations with us and get more information from experts or just from sharing with mm. uh, the experts within our circle. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to nutritionfacts.org. I'm going to put in um, eggs and grits. I think that's what uh, G. Albert said. He said, put in bacon, grits, bacon, and extra sharp cheese. So I'm going to do it, y'all. Grits, bacon, extra sharp cheese. (laughs) Grits, bacon, extra sharp cheese. Just like you wrote it. Lord, I can't even spell. I put C-E-E-S-E. Okay, so those were too many words. So I'm going to try just grits and see what I find. Why are you talking about I got to tell another funny story about my Jaws talking software. Well, we're at the top of the hour. So I mean, make sure you get it in there because they're I'm, talking about the health benefits of sorghum, the role of, that soy foods play in prostate cancer and prevention uh, of that and treatment, uh, which intestines uh, food for food for cosmetics, Lord, fruits and vegetables, but the test is okay. Okay. Go ahead, Corey, you tell the story yeah, it's, and it's, I'm going to put in cheese. It's not even that fun. It's, this is real quick. It's for ama- the amazing MNG. Is amazing- cheese healthy compared to what? Is cheese really bad for you? Heterocyclic amines and cheese, eggs, and creatinine. Cheese mites and maggots. Lord knows. Go ahead, Corey. So amazing MNG, whenever I was, whenever your name pops up on my talking computer, you know how down, down, so like, what's up, man? That's how it comes out for uh, this is M&G. The, the amazing mic. <laughs> I was like, what in the world was that? And then I had to figure out it's amazing MNG. Yes, absolutely. So y'all make sure you head on over to nutritionfacts.org. Type in whatever your ailment is. Type in whatever food you're wondering. This is a great place for resources. And look at Adrian. Ooh, that's painful. Red rhinestone laced on. No, thank you. Exactly, girl. Ain't nobody trying to do that. Make they don't sure stay you- on long. <laughs> Uh, yes, Philip is saying, uh, Adrian, Corey wears them often. Adrian, uh, yeah, stay on long. do what G- JT Coin Rings has done. Put in hashtag faves because somebody is about to win some coffee. Today, we do have African espresso. We do have our blend, our breakfast blend, not the breakfast blend. What is it? Six beans Sampler blend. And we also have chocolate hazelnut. So you'll be able to choose which flavor you want, whoever wins this last round, all right? And look, Gail at night is so right, Lord. We done went from the doctor's office to the liquor store to Victoria's Secrets in less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed at the doctor's office though, because you it's no good. Hey, DJ going, is, is laughing. <laughs> it's no good going to the, going to get any liquor and getting anything from Victoria's Secrets if you ain't healthy enough to do anything with that stuff when you get home. That's so, it. So, so we, y'all know it's all relative to, to the food is fuel. Speaking of food as fuel, we didn't, we talked about plantstrong.org, which is Rip Esselstyn, Dr. Esselstyn's son. Rip used to be a firefighter. He was an athlete. His father and mother, uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn didn't he run out and his wife. Didn't he live stream one time to go help somebody? Oh my people. goodness. Yeah. I was watching Rip Esselstyn because he's a plant strong, uh, the plant strong person. Um, he has so many different resources here. While he was on a live stream interviewing someone, he put the other person full screen. And when he came back, he said someone, he had to run out because someone knocked on his door, a kid down the street had fallen into the pool, was non-responsive and he had to revive them, resuscitate them. And Rip is the truth, y'all. He ripped that baby back to life and he did say they were doing fine. So yes. So, yeah, so, and we're going to actually, you know, in the upcoming live stream, we're going to actually order some of uh, the uh, his products, his plant strong products, and we'll let you know how it tastes so that you guys, because you can get them at Whole Food, mm. order them off of our Amazon. He has his own food. So, Adrian, I know you got a cheese problem because she says, I make he, a fabulous shrimp and cheese, grits, cheese, bacon crumble. Uh, I fit, make a fabulous shrimp and grits with bacon crumbles. It is cheese heavy. I've got a cheese problem. Most people do because cheese is addictive. But on his shop, he does have resources for you. So that way, uh, if not just recipes, because of course we've got recipes as well on plantbasedtreats.org. But this is where we're getting a lot of our information from some of the experts, all right? So when you click right here at the top, why it works, what you get, and all of those kinds of things, you can click on the Plant Strong Meal Planner. So that way you can see if you want to, you know, 
just work on foods, where to get your foods. Um, he also has, um, if we return to plantstrong.com, that will take us right here to where he, Rip Esselstyn has a lot of his foods and everything. You can get to his YouTube channel and all of those things there. And as you see, he says, sells chili and stews and broths. You got and a whole fire department, a whole a whole fire station. They dropped their cholesterol by an average, I think it was 70 points. Yep. So yep. He, he's there. And that's in the Game Changers film if you want to check out that documentary. Yep. So there's, there's so many resources out here for you all. And that's what we're showing you today, how you can find answers to whatever problem you have. If it's a cheese problem, if it's a whatever problem, y'all don't laugh at Wally because uh, you know what? Don't look at the clock. Wally is saying, Philip, check, check, check the clock. Trash can waves are saying, make crotchless panties great again. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get on to, uh, <laughs> let's get on to our final hashtag because Adrian says, saving babies. I love that. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about fertility health and the foods that help you to men and women, y'all, because y'all know there's a decline on fertility for men and women. Yes, you got it. The final hashtag, Wally, is hashtag faves. Now, Philip makes a scrambled eggs with four cheese blend, top the shrimp, crab meat, peppers, onions, mushrooms on top of a biscuit, open face style. Peppers, onions, mushrooms. Those are some of the G bombs that Dr. Oh my goodness, which doctor talks about the G bombs? Is it uh, Dr. Furman? Uh, or is it Dr. I think it's Dr. Furman that talks about G bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushroom. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways. David Hunt, stop playing with it. You better put in hashtag faves because DJ is has done it. Okay, he's done it as well. How do we want to do this, Corey, to get into our plant-based treats and finish up the show? All right, I'm gonna say when I say after I say faves, then you uh, you can click the button. Okay. All right, sure. Let me pull up the. Let me make sure they can see the unrigged selector because the winner is going to win some coffee. All you have to do is choose which coffee you'd like. Go ahead, Corey. To quote the great Samuel Jackson. Y'all Mickey Flicks better eat y'all faves. That's it? Yeah, I, say, I thought I say faves. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they're off. All right, Trash Can Wave, JT Coin Rings, Wally, Coach Mary Mod, Ism, DJ Is, I mean, Trash Can Wave, David Hunt, Coach Mary Mod, JT Coin Rings, Gail at night, JT Coin Rings, Coach Mary Mod, David Hunt, Philip Walter Jr., Gail at hey! night. Mm! And it's rigor mortis <laughs> in the house. Rigor mortis is real. How in the world did the moderator win this coffee? Look, Gail <laughs> wielded that wrench. She wanted that coffee. She told y'all where to go get the food, and now she knows where to get hers. Thank you so much, Gail at Night. You know what to do. Just email us, text us, do something, right? Just give us the information. Let us know what flavor you want, and then we'll get your uh, shipping information from you. You can just go ahead and uh, email us. This coffee can... has no okra, because Philip says okra is the devil, even though it's wonderful. G Mama Grows is congratulating her. And Philip says, not the mother scratchers. <laughs> 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 yes. Coach Mary Ma, Gaila Knight is the winner. She has to tell us what now? She has to just give, give, tell, what, tell what flavor of blend that she wants. And Between chocolate hazelnut. And African espresso. Or the sample pack. Because we do have sample, sample packs pack. that we have not opened. Yes. And you also will can uh, just give us your shipping information as well. So you can email us. You got our email address. You can email us. Mm -hmm. And Adrian's asking David Hunt, uh, Manuka honey might be the thing to do in grits. Look, if y'all like sweet grits, I guess so. But again, y'all start your own coffee page. If you want to do your buy me a coffee page, they buy you a coffee. The platform will buy us a coffee. Everybody wins. So yes, everybody gets a coffee. And guess who gets one today? Gail at night. Let us know uh, in the in the message which flavor you want. Chocolate hazel, chocolate hazelnut, samplers blend, or African espresso. Gail, lock it. No matter where the queen is holding it down, she's gonna have extra caffeine. Yes. So <laughs> Philip, yes, you get your coffee just because you're the favorite, Philip. So you ain't even have to win. You're gonna get one. But Phillip, let's get Phillip, into Phillip, the plant-based treats. You don't need a, a pack of coffee. Just Sweat a little bit into a cup and you got it. You know what? How do we get into the plant-based <laughs> treats, Corey? What do you want to say? We're not vigilantes. Not fruit hoodlums. We're not the plate popo military marines or supper time security guards. We are plate advisors, as Wally calls us. And that is why we encourage you to get your faves. Fruits and vegetables every, every spread. spread. So it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Here's how to use carrots, y'all, in pancakes. 24 carrot pancakes. Yum. Peel, slice, and chop three carrots into 24 chunks. Carrots are low in calories and sugar and high in fiber. Fiber reduces blood sugar and cholesterol levels. They also have carotenoids or cancer-fighting antioxidants. Boil until very soft. 
Let's start the pancakes. I'll go ahead and add a banana, about a fourth cup of sugar. I've got my vanilla extract. Master stir to blend it up. Bananas are full of fiber, potassium, folate, and heart healthy vitamin C, which is an antioxidant. Also full of tryptophan, which may help preserve your memory, boost learning and remembering, and regulate your mood. A tablespoon of baking powder. You're just going to add yogurt. Coconut yogurt is non-dairy, easy to digest, and full of probiotics. It's also low in sugar and full of antioxidants. This has foamed right up very quickly. Almond milk that I'm going to pour about a cup. It's going to be about 10 ounces that I add. And then I'm just going to squeeze uh, some lemon in. Lemons are good for dental health. It helps toothaches and prevents gingivitis. Also, its anti-inflammatory properties help fight respiratory tract infections, sore throat, and inflammation of the tonsils. Getting everything in, we've got our craisins. Craisins lower the risk of urinary tract infection, prevent certain cancers, and they help your immune system. Flour. Mix the flour and the baking powder into the batter. Start to add the milk. Stir in the buttermilk. Add a little bit of um, butter. Cook two to three minutes on each side. When I first tried these, I didn't even know they were made out of carrots. They were really good. Compared to the sweet potatoes, these were better. They were sweeter. All right, y'all. Adrian says, I am feeling carrots and pancakes. And, you know, we're going to ignore Corey tomorrow. Let's see what I wrote on your chest today. Yeah. And Philip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> it says hump day to Friday. G Bama Grows is looking in. And thank you, Gail at Night, for dropping where they can see that playlist where they can find these. How do we get out of here, Corey? Because Bravo with Sheila, Ladies Less Chat, is congratulating Gail on her coffee win along with Philip Waldo Jr. Of course, she's saying thanks, everyone. How do we say goodbye? Because you're riding back. Get your phase, get your phase worksheet. Go by going to our website, by going to the website, the phase sheet is there. And Under we, phase, you just uh, go to the home screen and right there in alphabetical order, phase. We're, getting, we're gonna kick fill out our, the form, help our research. You get our research kicked off, and it's anonymous, so nobody has to know any of your personal business. But <laughs> we're gonna get out of here by get out of here by saying this does it for this episode of Blind Guy, his wife, your life live. We'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna be talking about. Food for fertility, the great best fertility diet. So if you're a young, if you're a couple trying to have kids, or if you're a uh, a, a, a older person that just can't wait for grandbabies, hey, these are some of the answers that you can help make sure your sons and daughters are able to reproduce, procreate while they're pouncing on each other. Corey, say goodbye like trash can waves would say the rhinestone panties. Oh wow, <laughs> he has it in there. <laughs> Hurry up, because Bobby's right. like, we about to hit our mark. We overtime, wow. Corey. I, I, I can get no foot off. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say goodbye to Waitress Trash Can. Waitress we'll say goodbye to Rhinestone Panties at the Embassy Suites. You're going to say, Deuces! Deuces! <laughs> Deuces.